Good afternoon, LCS community. I want to take this time to welcome everyone back from the midwinter break. And this, the second installment of the superintendent's message for the 2017-18 school year. Today's message is a rather sobering one given the recent tragedy that we experienced in Florida uh, as a nationwide school community. Times like this are difficult, but yet they usher in an opportunity to have frank and honest discussions uh, with our students, our staff, and the community at large about what we can do to make schools safer. During a time like this, Lapeer Community Schools has found the focus on the three following things are what's most important. Number one, we want to first evaluate the health of our students and staff, meaning do they feel safe in school? Number two, we want to examine our current safety and security practices to determine what we do well, amplify that, and also see what can be improved. And finally, number three, we want to expand and maintain open lines of communication with our first response community and our parents. Relative to the first task, the evaluation of student and staff health, we've planned to schedule three school-wide assemblies at Rowan Warner, Zemmer, and Lapeer High School in cooperation with local law enforcement officials and our school resource officers to engage students in a conversation, an honest conversation, about school safety and security. We want to share with them uh, some tips of awareness, also articulate what the school is doing to protect them, but more importantly, we want to solicit their feedback. What are the things that we do that help them feel safe in school? And what are some changes and improvements they'd like to see so they can feel safer? Ultimately, we know this fact. Students can't learn if they don't feel safe. So we want to take special care to make sure that we spend time with our students in this setting to hear that they're listened to and their voice is heard. This will happen in the next week or two. We want to mirror that same opportunity for our parent community and community at large to offer insight, ask questions, and to hear what steps are being taken in your children's schools to make them safer. Relative to the examination of our current safety and security practices, we want to do a number of things. We have done a number of things in the recent past to make our school buildings safer, but we know there can always be improvements. So first and foremost, we want to continue to meet with local law enforcement to examine and determine what additional supports they'd be willing to provide. We want to improve the entranceways, the physical facilities in each of our buildings to provide greater security and examine ways that other districts have successfully implemented certain systems that make their buildings more secure. We want to limit the number of entrances at each of our buildings to make sure that we can more closely monitor the traffic of both students and community members in each of our buildings. We also want to determine whether or not hiring more security personnel is a worthwhile endeavor. We think it is, and we will make the determinations of that during this process. We also want to review existing lockdown procedures with staff and students to simply ensure that they're aware of what their role and responsibilities are in any circumstance that might befall a school. And we want to conduct more mock drills so students and staff have a better awareness and level of comfort given a particular scenario. And finally, as it relates to the expansion and maintenance of open lines of communication, we have two improvements that we hope to roll out in our school community in the next few months. Number one, we're pleased to announce a partnership with a private company that will provide our local first response community with digital communication via a smartphone or tablet that provides those first responders with the most accurate and timely information as it relates to what's happening in our buildings. We'll have more specific information on that platform in the coming weeks. And finally, we'd like to cr the creation of a parent's guide in case of an emergency. So moms and dads, local business owners, people in our community know what to do and what our expectations of you are may be during an incident. All of this to say 
that we ask that you please remember that school safety and security is a multifaceted challenge which requires a comprehensive set of possible solutions. One size doesn't fit all. But I want to communicate our solemn promise to you, Lapeer Community Schools, that we can, we should, and we will make these necessary improvements for the benefit of our students and staff. Thank you so much for listening to this message and have a wonderful day.